I first started working with Gerard back in 2003 for the uh, Phantom of the Opera movie. We've also worked together for Law Abiding Citizen, Den of Thieves. These days when I train with Gerard, we're not really trying to bulk up for a particular role, more or less looking for body composition type training, like maintaining lean muscle mass, sort of decreasing some body fat. In that case, what we typically do is total body workouts, and we typically train every other day. During the workouts, we're usually doing things like non-competing paired sets, and typically finishing up with like a metabolic conditioning exercise. The first two exercises in the workout, they're both gonna be non-competing paired sets. The first exercise we're gonna do is a double kettlebell front squat. George is gonna pick up the kettlebell, he's just gonna rack them. From here, he's gonna slightly bend the knees and he's gonna drop the hips down. He's gonna lower straight down for a three second lower and then a one second raise. The weight of the kettlebell wants to pitch you forward and sort of make you collapse down. So you wanna keep yourself nice and upright with the core tight. The second exercise in the first pairing is going to be a three point cable row. It's a horizontal pull movement uh, predominantly working the lats. So George is gonna basically think about first initiating by bringing the elbow back and then following through by pulling the hand towards the ribs. He keeps his shoulders and hips kind of square. We're trying to prevent really any kind of rotation of the torso. So after you finish this set of this exercise, you're gonna rest 60 seconds and then you'll go back and you'll repeat the first exercise in the pairing and you'll repeat that three times total. So our first exercise in the second pairing is going to be a barbell RDL. This is going to be a hip dominant hinge pattern, primarily going to target the hamstrings, glutes, and actually the erector spinae or the lower back area, okay? We want to do is make sure that the lower back stays in a neutral spine position. We don't want too much of an arch and we definitely don't want any rounding. So we're going to do uh, 10 to 12 reps, three seconds lower, one second raise. Okay, so the second exercise in the second pairing is an alternating flat dumbbell bench press. So George is gonna start out, he's gonna lower one dumbbell for two seconds down on one side and raise back up one second and keep repeating the process. I like to have the, the client keep pressing up towards the ceiling the dumbbell that's always extended. So you get a little serratus anterior action. Okay, so after the second exercise is complete, you're gonna rest 60 seconds, and then you'll repeat the cycle two more times for a total of three rounds. So the final exercises are gonna be a tri-set. Three exercises linked together. The first exercise in the tri-set is just an easy bar curl, targeting the biceps. George is gonna curl up on a one count and lower on a three count. What I like to do is, is try to have the client maintain a very vertical upper arm. So basically the forearm is just totally pivoting around the elbow joint. Okay, the second exercise in the tricep is the chest supported overhead tricep extension. So what I like to do is have the uh, upper arm basically parallel to the floor. Okay, so they usually have the bench set at about a 35 to 40 degree angle. Okay, George is gonna extend the rope handles away from him. Good. Notice he keeps his head in a good neutral position that's in line with the rest of the spine. We're doing three sets, 10 to 12 reps. So now we're gonna do the third movement in the tri-set, and this is gonna be a landmine torso rotation exercise with an anti-rotation emphasis. So we want basically the hips to stay facing forward towards the, towards the landmine, and even the shoulders forward, and then as we rotate, we only wanna rotate just a little bit while keeping this staying forward. If you imagine a clock, you're trying to work between the hands of either nine and three or 10 and two, depending on, on how strong you are and, and where you are in your fitness level and even in your range of motion. So it's two seconds one way, two seconds the other. He's gonna do eight to 10 reps per side. The final exercise of the workout is a little metabolic finisher. We're gonna use the fan bike for this one. We're gonna do is 15 seconds of work, followed by 45 seconds of recovery. For the 15 seconds of work, it's all out, it's hard. It's like a nine out of 10. And uh, we're gonna do five to six rounds. Okay, so that was a sample of one of Gerard's training sessions. You can do this workout three times a week, and I would say somewhere to four to six weeks, and then maybe you could change up your whole program.
Remember guys, train hard, train smart, and train efficiently.